today. We're gonna have a party with Papa John. So you gotta wake up. So this we can, is our so we first can get experience the of Luke waking up. And then up. we can have an awesome party with Papa John. We sit in the pro. And now everybody else is coming in too. Come on, Luke. You wanna have an awesome, have an awesome party? Here's your shorts and shirt and socks. What a big dude. You ready, man, to party? Oh, yeah. All right, I'll close the door for you. Luke! I got you. Your mom's got some coffee. Girl, you're the one who slammed that's whipped cream. It's awful. You oh, my face. Okay. <laughs> you so All right, guys. First stop, Arlington Cemetery. I'm not even going. So we don't understand about what's going on. We were just behind a hearse. So there's 29 females here today. So it's an active, we call it active cemetery. So we have to be very respectful. The first thing we do is we have security. Kind of, you know, it is what it is. All right, then we will, there's bathrooms there, and then we will head up the hill. Sound good? Yeah. Well, what do you guys think so far? They're singing about time. I think it's hot. I'm tired. How are you tired? That's the Arlington House. It was actually created by George Washington Park Custis, the grand adopted grandson of George Washington. He was such a big fan of his adopted grandfather that he built this house in honor of him. He was land rich, but he wasn't very money rich. So it took him a long time to build this house. By the time he was done, he was ready to give it over to one of his children. That ended up being his daughter, Mary Park Custis, who ended up marrying Robert E. Lee, becoming Mary And so this would become Robert E. Lee's property. They would maintain it until the start of the war, when they would retreat to Richmond to join Hiroshima, where he would leave the Northern Virginia armies. Once he did that, uh, they imposed a new rule that required you to pay your taxes in person, which meant that uh, Mary Lee would have to come here to pay the taxes on her land. Of course, she wasn't gonna do that, so she sent her cousin to do it for her, but that's not in person, so they wouldn't accept that. Once uh, the due date passed for when she needed to pay those taxes, a uh, general named Mike, who actually went to West Point with Robert E. Lee, marched right up this hill and claimed it for the U.S. government. It was his way of getting revenge on his old friend. He would end up burying the first um, soldiers here right up in her rose gardens. Of course, that's not allowed, so eventually they would be exhumed and moved somewhere else in the cemetery. What do you guys think of that? That would be in they would, bury, they would start burying people here because by 1864, all the other cemeteries in the state of Virginia were full. What is that? Why can't you go for it? 1929 to 1994. She'd get remarried, but then she would want to be buried with her first This is where we're heading next. Tomb of the Unknown Soldier. Who likes to give the show? So, Dad, this is the tree you climbed up when you were a kid? This is the tree I used to yes, um, get away from people that were chasing me. Oh, why were they chasing you? Well, they were chasing me, they changed me the guards right up here. So, at night, they practice. So, there's other guys out here practicing, and I was watching, and somebody saw me and started chasing me. So ran down here, I was running this way. He grabbed one of these branches. This tree was smaller then, but it was still huge. Swung up in the tree, and about 10 seconds later, they ran past me. You guys believe that story? But there's soldiers, so we I don't know if it was a soldier or a policeman. I don't know. A night security guy who's kind of like a rent a cop. <laughs> oh. Do you believe him? Yep. I do. Yep. Very believable. Attention, please. The ceremony that you are about to witness is an army reclaim ceremony to be conducted by the Secretary General of NATO. 
It is requested that everyone remain silent and standing during this ceremony. All military personnel in uniform will render the hand salute. And it is appropriate for all others to place their right hand over their heart upon the command of present arms. Thank you. Reason. Oh. just walked up to the house, the Lee house, and apparently this is the most incredible view of DC. I'm holding it. Wow. You're holding it? Look at this view. Wow. I'm holding it. You're holding what? It doesn't look like you're holding anything. I'm not good at that kind of thing. That's pretty cool. Could you imagine this is your view every day? That would be so awesome. Or I should say they just finished eating lunch at Shake Shack inside and I am just coming out of the car. I had a couple clients reaching out to me about some things to do with the closing and a couple of potential offers. So I just, there's the popular realtor. Oh, I might edit that part out. Anyways, we're at the Air and Space Museum. I'm super pumped to catch back up with them and see what we see. I found them. Ada, what did you mix in your drink? Uh, Sprite and 
a little bit of Dr. Pepper. Oh, I thought it was going to be more. Looks like ginger ale. What did you do to your drink, Luke? Uh, I mixed up Sprite, ginger ale, ginger ale Dr. Pepper, Pepper, and orange crush. Orange crush. Sun kissing. What? That's a lot. I'm just gonna look at a few things first. They wanna do these things later. We lost Kelly and Luke, but I found them. Who knows what they're talking about? What are you most excited about for the museum? You don't know? Really? It's all a pink plane. Oh, cool. Yeah, hardly a love. Should we take a picture? Yeah. Where is it? Oh, it is pink. Should I take a picture with you and send it to Hartley? Yeah. All right, let's do it. What is this doing here? Izzy, why is there an X-Wing fighter in here? What? Now everyone's checking out this cool Colton and I are getting ready to do these crazy simulators. Ready? Mm -hmm. You hear them screaming? Are you scared? He's paying for it with his own money. He paid for himself and for me. We're in Papa John's favorite part of the museum. Observing the planes taking off from the airport. I'm gonna fall. Oh, that'll hurt. No, I'll trust you. I'll trust you. Oh. All right, we're back. So now it's time to go swimming. Right, Izzy? Yeah. Okay. We're leaving Papa John with all the kids. We're going to dinner at the oldest restaurant in DC. All right, Kelly and I are back from our dinner at Martin's. And all the kids are going to sleep. We got Izzy and Briley going to sleep in here. Good night, girls. Good night, Izzy. Oh, is Izzy already asleep? <laughs> Good night, Izzy. Maybe later. And we got out here. We got. No, you guys are going to sleep. Go to sleep. Good night. Good night, Aiden. No, no, tell us our story. Oh. We're in Rio, remember? Oh, man. <laughs>